In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Ultra via Olympus. to 40 runs and our sort of ad hoc studio. I'm actually out here filming, and when I say out here, because I'm in the garden, but I'm actually out here filming some versus videos, but also wanted to film while I'm out here. My sort of first impressions, well, it's been a little bit more than that because we've done more miles in it than we usually do on the first impressions, but I wanted to film a sort of quick review of the Via or Via Olympus. Now, actually, let's do some disclaimers. This shoe was sent to me by the guys at Ultra. I'm not getting paid for it. I don't have a script. You'll guess it from the fact I can't even pronounce the name correctly. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not getting paid, and I don't have to say nice things. I'll say anything I like. As you probably guess now, if you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. Okay, right, so a um, bit late to the party on this one, but I don't care about that because I really wanted to try this shoe because this is their sort of first max cushioned effort, let's call it, uh, in the road running arena and it was a, a shoe that sort of caught my attention when some of the other reviewers uh, looked at it because they said nice things about it um but yeah i just i like the overall sort of we're not allowed to call it a zero drop but this um natural running position but with this big stack of 33 uh, 33 millimeters of foam underneath but with that sort of same stack all the way through the shoe so we've got the Ego Max uh, midsole, as I said, it's 33 millimeters of uh, stack through the shoe. Uh, we've got a really cool uh, outsole on it. Uh, it fits true to size. It is 130 pounds, but I've seen it cheaper than that. Um, you've got that natural foot placement, uh, nice and wide as well. So if you can see that, so your toes really nice uh, in a nice natural position, which is great. And you really do feel comfortable in the shoe. And I think that's probably one of the biggest takeaways from the shoe is the comfort of it. We've got nice built up sidewalls, uh, which help in terms of the stability because 33 mil is not small. Uh, so we've got some of these sidewalls that are built up around the shoe. Uh, we've got a really nice feeling upper on it as well. It really does feel nice in terms of the stepping. It's not a gusseted tongue, but there's loads of foam around the heel and around the tongue. So it really does feel comfortable when you put the shoe on. We've got some nice overlays which add to the feel of the shoe. And that's probably about it in terms of stats and features. The shoe feels nice and balanced. Uh, it's got a bit of a rocker feel going on with it, uh, but it really does feel really nicely balanced. And what do I mean by that? You don't feel, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I'm like this or like this twisting or anything like that. It just feels a very sturdy platform. And yeah, really nicely balanced. The Ego Max foam is not overly soft. Um, for example, if you compare this against a Nimbus or against a the Skechers, they're a lot softer in terms of the feel. But again, it's providing a very wide and stable platform. And it's just a nice cruiser. Um, does it have the sort of giddy up of the the the, Sketch, the Sketches Max Road Six? Probably not. Does it have the overall comfort of the Nimbus Twenty Five? Probably not. But it's sort of that halfway ground. If if you find both of those shoes too soft or yeah too mushy or a little bit too much shoe, then this could be an option. And again, this thing, you know, as I said, with its natural foot placement and the width of the shoe, is definitely an interesting option versus those other two. So I've really enjoyed getting to know this. Uh, this has got to have 30 miles on it. Um, as I said, it's not a first impressions. It probably should have done a first impressions on it, but it's uh, it's gone past the first impressions mile. It's got, yeah, so about 30 miles on the shoe. And I've enjoyed those 30 miles. Uh, it was uh, a shoe that I used in marathon training on and off. Uh, and it was just, yeah, it was just easy to slip on and go out and run. And that's, and that's what I want uh, from a running shoe. And I probably like you, you want that as well. But again, I like the balance. I like the stable ride of it. Um, it's not stability, but I think it's close. It's sort of more guidance than anything else, but it's not labeled as a stability shoe. But with the built up sidewalls and, and that, yeah, that balanced platform that you get on the shoe, it really is a good alternative to some of the other shoes that are out there. And yeah, at 130 pounds, I think it's a good shout. And it's, I think it's actually under that in some, some places. The outsole's good, by the way. Good traction on the outsole. It really is. So yeah, overall, people, um, I would definitely look at this, especially if it's coming down in price. I think this is a good option versus your Nimbus 25s 
and your Skechers Max Road 6. It's definitely something to consider versus the norm, let's say. And that's what I like about Ultra Shoes. They're different to the norm. They've got this natural um, foot placement and natural fit and width going on, which is really cool. Check out their website. It'll give you much more detail than I'm giving. In this. So to wrap things up on this shoe, I think it's definitely something that's um, different to everything else that's out there. I think if you're looking for something that's stable, that's, um, yeah, like I said about a million times this video, balanced, comfortable, I think this is definitely worth a look.